because I've gotten used to not seeing myself on screen. If ever I'm watching something and it mentions a character with lupus, while it can be nice to feel like recognized, it's quickly replaced by a feeling of like, oh, well, if that's the best they can do, then that's a little bit sad for me. Like, there isn't more of an effort to make conditions like mine more visible, not elaborating on it in a way that could be helpful for viewers to understand what it is. I'm Kristen Kumagawa. I am a student at Chapman University pursuing a master's in health and strategic comm, as well as a degree in communication, and then minors in public relations and disability studies. I would identify as disabled with chronic illnesses. I have systemic lupus erythematosus as well as mental illness and some other fun things like that. But I pretty much do school work and on the side projects such as working with the nonprofit Asian Americans with Disabilities Initiative and I have two campus jobs, so no matter what, I'm staying busy, but doing things that relate to my interests in disability and advocacy for the community. I, as a service dog user, I have become very well versed in how to defend myself against like snide remarks about how I seem like a person who wouldn't need a service dog. Had this restaurant um, and its workers tell me that I couldn't sit inside when I had joined my friends inside. And there was two customers that overheard and they basically were like, yeah, get that thing out of here. It's disgusting. And I was explaining, oh, it's a service dog. I had posted about it on social media and I was reached out to by like the regional manager of that restaurant chain and they were basically I think trying to ensure that I wouldn't take legal action against them. It came to an end because they promised like oh I could get a free meal so I brought like eight of my friends and we just had a big free meal. We've been seeing a lot of progress in media overall but I feel like a lot of it is unsustainable because it's coming from a place of response to outrage or upset about a company not being inclusive enough or having a diversity, equity, inclusion. And I think that the best way for companies to know how to do so is to consult with people that are living these disabled experiences. EIH Disability in Hollywood. Change the norm. Disability in Hollywood. Weebly.com.